Welcome, welcome, welcome to Rogue Bogues. This is the first official introduction to the Rogue Bogues podcast. Yours truly, Andrew Bogut. I'll be the host of this podcast. Finally got around to at least getting the intro pod out there. So this will basically just be a discussion of, of what I'm trying to do with this podcast, why um, there's, there's numerous different formats we're going to be engaging in. So just explaining all that real quick for 10, 10 to 15 odd minutes, and then we'll start pumping out different things along the way. So basically, let's get to it real quick. Four formats I'm looking to do. My journey is number one. Number two, basketball related, obviously. Number three, world news, world events, all that kind of fun stuff. Number four will be a, a Q&A. So Break those down real quick. Number one, my journey, pretty self-explanatory. It'll be what an, a book version of an autobiography would be for a professional athlete or celebrity. So it'll be in a podcast form though. So I'm, I'm not sure if anyone's ever really done that. Um, I'd like to say I'm hopefully be the first one to do it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's probably been done if I, if I look into to researching it online, um, which I won't because I can't be bothered. But yeah, basically from childhood, adolescence, teenage years, high school, off to college, off to the pros, playing in the NBA, playing for the national team, seeing the world and meeting unique people, very elite people in their craft, smart, some of the smartest people in the world, some of the most gifted people in the world athletically. So very, very honored to have met, you know, some, some really intriguing people along the way. And that'll be part of the discussion as, as well. And on top of that, when we do certain pods, let's say, for example, the University of Utah years, um, hopefully get someone on from that era that was around me and that we can have a, a robust in-depth discussion about things. So keep looking out for that one. I think it'll be pretty cool to not only to do, but to, to listen to and not just for fans, but young kids and parents that are driving kids around a sport, just kind of, it'll have all that in it, in it you know, kind of what I went through and the hours spent and what the parents had to do and all that stuff. So that'll be a, a pretty good one to listen to. Number two, basketball. So it'll be a, um, it won't be a generic basketball pod. It'll be a little bit different. So we will discuss What's going on in the world of basketball, the NBA, Australia, you know, um, around the world basically, but it won't be so much as a straight analytical podcast where we're just talking about who won, who lost and why and, and who's who's going to win it and that trade was awesome and that trade was bad. It's, it's, it'll have a little bit of that, but that's not kind of the majority of what we're going to be talking about. It'll be stuff that um, can really engage with the audience uh, from a guy that's lived it for 15 years that can really talk about the behind the scenes. Um, for example, why is a team or an organization, why have they been a losing organization in the last 10 years? Why is a certain team overachieved? Why, why is this a winning organization? Um, what goes on on team buses, planes? Does that affect things? All those kind of small little details behind the scenes that you don't really hear about from, from players, from teams, from PR departments, Media don't really get access to um, discuss all of that. It'll even get to to certain things like you know get spoken about a little bit. And there's been a few articles, and I know there's been a documentary, but even that documentary missed a fair bit. Like why why are players five years post retirement? Why are they in financial trouble? Why are they going broke? I don't know what the number is today. Could be wrong, but it was at one point professional athletes, at least in the states. You know, three and four almost were going broke within five years of retirement or or right on that line of about to go broke and struggling. So I'll discuss that with kind of real world experiences of, of, of why and, and what I've experienced and, and what some of my teammates have experienced along the way. So some really good in-depth, unique discussions with that kind of stuff. So we want to really go behind the scenes with some of this. There will be a portion of that podcast or that format of the podcast that um, is a Q&A so from fans, um, from subscribers, from listeners, you can email through. There'll be an email eventually um, released out there. We can email through questions. They can be related to last week's, you know, podcast, something that interested you, or just some general questions that you had about, you know, a certain team I was on, or what do I think about this or that basketball related, and we'll try to get them answered. So obviously, on top of that, we'll probably get some abusive emails just because that's um, the current climate today, and you know, you might get lucky. I might even read a few of those out. So. Keep it coming once once that's available to be emailed through. Number three, the third format of the podcast, world news, political events, trending topics, what's going on politically, what's going on socially. So everyone knows on Twitter and social media, I'm happy to give my opinion on pretty much anything and I get a lot of flack for that, but I've never claimed to be always right, or always wrong. Um, so I'll have fun with that one and that'll, that'll kind of have the same connotation with Ask Me Anything Q&A from subscribers and fans and you know, whatever discussion we had the week before, you could possibly follow up with some questions or just some some random questions that you you would have. I think the uniqueness of myself doing a, a podcast related to, to world events is 
I've been pretty blessed to live a pretty surreal life at times with some of the people that I've met. I've, I've met some of the most smartest, driven, passionate, elite people in the world, not not just in basketball and sport, but in general, and take and try to try to pick their brain on different things. And and I think um, that's why that one I think will be really really good, just because I've had some real world experiences with with all kinds of people, good, bad, and ugly. So that one will be um, the third format, the fourth basic Q and A. Get some guests on. At times, teammates, celebrities, but we don't want this to just be a, a standard Q and A with some of my um, ex teammates or, or teammates and friends, and that it's just a um, a name drop type Q and A, like look who I'm mates with, and then ask them some questions. The tickle fest, you know, I'm, I'm loving all softballs, and I want to get people on that have really cool, unique stories and and have had, had faced adversity and faced different things throughout their life, and, and and have made it to the top, and and what keeps them going. Um, so that I think will be. Something to look out for. We'll also not only aim it towards getting people on that are are well known. We want to get some people on that aren't aren't well known, um, at least publicly, but are doing uh, phenomenal things within their community. It could be a local businessman that's come from nothing, you know, whether they um you know grew up with nothing or migrated to the country, whether it's here or in Australia or the US or wherever it may be, and build a, a really really good life for them and their family and are some of the most powerful business people in their state or their community or their suburb or their city and to hear that those stories we don't hear enough of so that one will be um the Q&A format so so four formats all pretty pretty easy and they'll be they'll be all clearly labeled so I understand that there's people that follow me strictly for basketball the shut up and dribble so we don't want to hear about anything but basketball from you so you've got a, you've got a format of the podcast which you can subscribe for that We'll give you that, and then vice versa. There's some people that couldn't care about sport or basketball that follow me just because I like to think I'm, I'm brutally honest and, and blunt and straightforward with, with the way I see things in the world, especially with politicians and what's going on socially. I mean, right now we're in the midst of a pandemic around the world um, with coronavirus. So discussing that, you know, hopefully get some people on that are much smarter than me to discuss those things. It will be good to just get all kinds of opinions, and I don't, I stress highly, I don't want people. That are just telling me what I want to hear, or, or being very agreeable. We want to get people on here at times that um, have completely different opinions and, and pick their brain on why, and, and vice versa. People that would challenge me on on my views and my opinions. I've got no issue with that. Never have, as long as it's constructed in a way where there's no abuse and in a way where adults have civil conversations. So definitely can't do that on Twitter or social media because there's a lot of um, absolute bananas on there that will throw abuse at you straight away for a deferring opinion, but. Um, thankfully, I am the um, head honcho of this podcast, so I can mute microphones when I want to. So, um, yeah, we'll get some people on, and, and hopefully that'll that'll be a good listen. But look, there will be times where there'll be insightful things. There'll be things you didn't know about myself or the person on. There will be some controversial things at times, and that's just kind of goes with 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 what we're doing. You know, I want this to be very very honest and different to, to most podcasts. So, um, if that appeals to you, subscribe, tell a friend, um, support it. You know, and. We'll continue to put things out. So, finally, a few housekeeping issues. As I said, this isn't going to be a PR filtered podcast. I don't have an agent tapping on my shoulder telling me what I can and can't say. I don't have a team. I don't have um, sponsors that are saying, "Well, if you say that, we're going to drop you." Um, I could not care less. Like, I mean, it's 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 one of those things where I want the honest, blunt truth of the life that I've lived to come out, and I'm not worried about everything else. I don't I don't need to rely on anything or anyone else to tell me what to say and do. I'm not worried about how it affects me in the future and all that kind of stuff. Um, if the truth's going to affect people, you know that greatly, then I don't want to work with those people. That's kind of the mindset that I've that I've got. Um, this is a, a low budget production, at least now. I'm doing this myself. I figured out how to um, how to even do this recording solo. I'm doing this in my study right now. I bought a Rodecaster Pro, which is a some recording hardware. Um, shout out to Mitch Robinson from the, the Brisbane Lions, who play in the AFL, the Australian Football League, who. He's a pretty avid uh, podcaster, does a lot of video casting, and and he put me onto a lot of great advice that really helped me. And then watched a few YouTube videos and chucked it all together, and here I am. So hopefully we don't have any audio issues or any other issues along the way. Um, I will then, after I record it, obviously send it off to a professional. I've got a friend that um, will produce it for me and and just you know make sure the sounds all right and if there's big gaps or some some kind of murmurs in the background. Hopefully do his job and, and edit all that out and make it sound as as quality as possible. So that'll. That'll all um, be done remotely, especially with coronavirus. It's kind of hard, hard to have somebody sitting here in study, in brackets, in studio, 
doing all that for me live. So um, we're doing what we can. So bear with us with that. Host and co-host, not sure yet. Um, we're gonna we're gonna play that by ear. So we'll, we'll definitely get other people on. In what capacity, we're not sure at the moment. So as it goes further, we'll um we'll figure things out. What's working, what's not. A lot of it will be directed by you know the feedback we get from subscribers and fans and listeners. And you might say, hey, I hate this, hate this format, hate this um, segment, or I love this, and I absolutely you know like listening to this this story from this guy. So. Feel free to give feedback, and, and it is an interactive podcast, so we, we definitely want um, fans and subscribers to send through questions, even comments. I mean, like I said earlier, there will be people that completely disagree with some things I say on here, and they'll probably send through some some pretty scathing assessments. More than welcome, like I'm all for it. I'm big boy, I can handle it. Probably even read some of those out because we want to balance out the. Um, we don't want this to just be a uh, a five star rating all the time. So we can only get better and learn if we make mistakes along the way, or or get some some valuable feedback that we might not agree with. So it kind of makes you continue to strive to, to get better and better. Timeframes of the podcast. I mean, I hope to do something weekly in one at least one of the formats. It's all, all dependent on what's going on in the world. Um, two young kids at home. So that takes a lot of time to to try and find some a quiet hour or two where there's not toys banging around or kids yelling. So I'll figure that out on the fly. The podcast, the actual episodes themselves. I'd like to keep them around an hour each, if possible. The my journey sometimes might take a bit longer. Same as a Q and A, um, but I think with all the formats, we just want to stress that we're not um, we're not going to just flatline like it needs to be this time, this time frame. Like if it goes a bit longer or shorter, or if a conversation sensational and we're really digging and it's really passionate with someone, or the story is just unbelievable, we need to let it play out and it goes for an hour and a half. So be it. I'm happy to do that. So. That's how the timeframes will go, but this is the intro pod. This is the first podcast as part of the Rogue Bogue series, so keep a lookout for the next few drop and hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Socials, pretty simple, Rogue Bogues on Instagram, um, Rogue Bogues on, on Twitter, Facebook the same, so we'll, we'll get some stuff posted on there. Um, it'll, it'll also be on YouTube eventually too, so we'll try to get all the, for- all the forums possible for podcasts. But yeah, I really appreciate everyone even just listening to this intro pod. Hopefully everyone's having a, having a good day and, and look out for the next pod. Thanks.